Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of the Daily Evolution and it is Treat Thursday. So today um, I have this really cool book that I wanted to share with you and I, um, so let me just show you. Um, so it's called Play, right? Um, this is what it looks like. Can you see that? The lighting is so bad. Uh, or so good. <laughs> um, it's, it's ideas, exercises, and little ways to add more fun to every day, right? So I thought, gosh, what a great way for us to um, honor Treat Thursday. And um, so I just wanted to read a little bit about this uh, to you and then share one of the, the examples that they give of something that you can do. So it says, do you remember when weekends seem to stretch forever? It has been a long time since I have felt like that. And so it's interesting to sort of think about when was the last time that I thought my weekend lasted forever? Uh, certainly before I started working, right? And when we talk about, and I think that's why what for Wednesdays is so important to me because we talk about purpose and when you live with purpose and, and you, you know, like we get, we over here in America, at least we start working and at a young age, 15, 16, something like that usually. And then it's like, we lose all of the fun, right? It becomes like adulting is now a thing. And although yes, it is a thing, what happened to really having fun and how can we incorporate that into our lives on a regular basis? And I think that a lot of that has to do with our purpose too. So, um, so it says, it's been a while since you had that feeling. Science has a suggestion. Sorry, if it's been a while since you've had that feeling, science has a suggestion. Try something new. Your brain focuses on more on noticing new experiences. I am like a new experience whore. Like, I love trying new things. Um, so, uh... Your brain focuses more on noticing new experiences and all that focus means that when you look back on them, those experiences seem to have lasted longer. That's why the time in childhood feels like it passes so slowly because everything is new to us. Uh, as you get older and settle into patterns, your brain stops noticing and starts expecting. If you want to make an evening, a weekend, or a vacation feel longer, Break with your routine and notice how differently you feel. Love that. Love that, love that, love that so much. Um, so uh, one of the exercises, and I thought this was just super, super cute, um, is <clears throat> put a play kit together. Um, set aside, uh, maybe it's for the next plane ride that you take, right? Or, or even a, you know, rainy day. We should be coming upon some rain here in the next couple of weeks in Montana. Um, fill it with little fun things that you've forgotten about. Silly putty, inexpensive watercolors, pipe cleaners, stickers, coloring books, and break it out when the time is right. Consider turning off your phone and letting yourself dive deep. See if you can reconnect with a very young version of you. A version of you that doesn't believe in the right or wrong way to make or do something. And if you're on a plane, tell your seatmate what you're up to and maybe they'll join you. And I think about like that, I just, I got so much joy from even just thinking about doing something like that. And I know it takes an extra trip, but you guys, you could go to the dollar store in 10 minutes and get a couple of things that you could throw into your briefcase or your backpack or your purse. And, um, and I think that the thing that's interesting about that, I would do it just to challenge myself. I think the thing that's interesting about that is that most of us maybe wouldn't do it or participate because of the judgment or the feeling of like, what are you doing, right? There's this non-acceptance space that we get into when we start to do things that are out of the norm for what adults should do on a plane or the way that we should interact or the way that we should be. And then some of you are like, I don't wanna to talk to my seatmate, <laughs> right? Like you're, you're doing everything you possibly can to close yourself off from connection instead of really engaging and being with that person that's next to you. And I get it, I do, I understand. Sometimes that person is just a talker and um, all you wanna do is is read or listen to your, your audiobook or your music. And what if you just changed the recipe, right? What if you just did it a little bit differently? And so I just, I love how there's little teeny tiny ways for us to add fun and recreation into our daily lives and that it can be so fun. I will tell you that if I did that, right? Um, I don't have a plane ride coming up anytime soon that I know of. 
And if I did that, I know that if I, I always talk about, we'll, we'll talk about this one day, um, if I got hit by a bus tomorrow, I would be really glad that I did that, right? Like, and, and my hit by a bus example always is to give us perspective and it's a, it's a way for us to sort of go inside and internally survey whether the decisions that we made in the last 24, 48, hours to a week, a month, a year, we would be really proud of. Like, would you have regrets about anything that you didn't fully execute or that you didn't participate in? And although this is silly and it's maybe not some big, huge accomplishment that you're questing after, I think it's something that is out, it's so outside of the comfort zone. It's so simple, but it's so outside the comfort zone that we we take little things like that for granted. So um, I just thought that was super cute. So the book uh, is Play. Um, if you are local to Billings, I got this book from um, The Joy of Living. Uh, Chris Carpenter is the owner. She's wonderful. There's two locations, one downtown on Broadway and then one off of 24th Street and um, maybe it's like Avenue B or C, something like that. So um, yeah, go check it out. Uh, I'm not sure if they still have it. It's been a little bit since I have gotten it, uh, since I got it, but it's really good. Um, and it's so cute because on the back it says, this looks like a book, but you can think of it as recess. And so how can we do recess in our regular and everyday lives, right? So um, now is the part of the, da the daily evolution where we are going to go into our deep breathing exercises. If you are just joining us, you know, you've never watched a, a daily evolution before, go ahead and uh, find the video where we talk about, where I talk about the how to on the deep breathing exercises so that you can go along with us. It's four counts of four. So we're going to go ahead and just do that for a few minutes now. feel that level of like focus that coming into your body letting go of the mind creating a little focus and just having fun right like thinking and reflecting about like having some fun so I want you to spend just a moment now thinking about doing something crazy right and not crazy like crazy crazy like or maybe it's crazy crazy uh, doing something that you know you're going to get some joy from, right? Doing something that creates a little bit of, of treating yourself and, and laughter and, and what is it that you can do in your life that's a little bit outside of your comfort zone or a little outside of your norm that will help you have fun, enjoy your life, be excited, and, and you would be so glad if you did this, that if you were hit by a bus tomorrow, you would be thrilled that you took it a little more lightly and you were, you know, passionate or 
just joyful. How, how can you be joyful today? So this is another edition of the Daily Evolution and it is Treat Thursday. I hope that you enjoyed today. I hope that you have an amazing day today. I just adore you so much and love spending a few minutes with you every day. If you've not signed up for the Daily Evolution to get it straight to your inbox, please do so. I would love to be able to support you in your journey of transformation. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow. It is Fitness Friday.